Hey everybody, Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com here today with another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this is a feature new to Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 that I think you'll really, really just have to know. It's a nice little time saver and it's just super cool. Something that Photoshop should have had a long time ago. It's copying and pasting layers, but I'm going to cover a little twist, a very important little aspect of copy and pasting layers. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, the only thing I would ask is that you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can keep up with all the other videos that I generate here on the channel. Let's jump into Photoshop and check this thing out. All right. I was out in Pittsburgh a couple months ago and as one does, took a few, you know, snapshots and I processed this image and I've got all these layers stacked up here, adjustment layers, some masks, some flares and, you know, lighting and grain and stuff like that. And I pasted it here on the shot that I took that was done after dark and I kind of like the way it looks. So I want to copy all these layers over to this other image that has no processing other than camera raw. And this is, you know, I don't want to get into an argument about whether or not the image looks better now or, or after. Afterward, I, I like the way they both look personally, but this is really easy. You select the top layer, you hold down shift and select the bottom most layer. I'm going to ignore the watermark for now and you can just use the hotkey command or control C. It's going to copy that stuff to the clipboard, pop over to the new image and hit command or control V. Now check this out. This is very important uh, because what's happened here is this doesn't look right. I don't know if you can see, but there's like an edge of light there, right? And I can see here on my layers panel, like the grain isn't lined up and these masks for the levels are not lined lined up. If uh, we bring up free transform, we can see here that this the the effects and everything are much larger than the actual image. But when you paste layers in, Photoshop just tries to paste it right into the center of the image. And that's what it's trying to do here. But that's not going to line everything up properly. So I'm going to hit command or control Z. In fact, I'm going to come up here and choose to step backward to undo my paste. I want to do what's called paste in place. And this is a really, really important little trick when you're pasting layers. Up here under edit, you got paste special and you have paste in place. Note the hotkey. Command shift V. That'd be control shift V on the PC. So let's do that. Command shift V and look at that. Our flares are in place. See a flare up there in the top left and bottom right. If we go back to our other, uh, our other image, yep, there's a flare in the top left and the bottom right and everything just lines up just the way it should. It has pasted this in place. Now, this also becomes very important if we come back to this image. We have this little watermark down here. I don't know if you noticed it. Just a little simple graphic. We can copy that. Command or Control C. And if I come back to this image and Command or Control V, you're going to see it's going to drop the watermark right in the center of the image. No good. I'm going to undo that. If we do Command Shift or Control Shift V, boom, pastes it right there in the bottom right corner of the image. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Wow, that's going to save me some time. I really kind of like that. Uh, and that's it. It's just a really quick little tip, but a super important and a really effective, uh, I guess you can call it feature or function, maybe would be the proper term, here in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video for learning how to copy and paste and paste in place layers here in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. That's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.